Have you ever found yourself pondering the intriguing world of Rejuvalac? What is this mysterious liquid and how does one go about creating it? Today, we're delving into the process, benefits and comparisons with another popular fermented beverage, kombucha. Rejuvalac, an enigmatic name, isn't it? This fermented beverage is a powerhouse of probiotics, enzymes and beneficial bacteria. Originating from the ashrams of the wise Anne Wigmore, Rejuvalac has over the years become a staple in the vegan culinary world. Now, we're going to unravel the mystery of this potent elixir. To make Rejuvalac, you start with a grain, commonly wheat berries, rye, quinoa or buckwheat. First, you soak your chosen grain in water for about a day. After this, you drain the water, rinse the grain and let it sprout for two to three days. Now, here comes the magic. You add water to the sprouted grains, leave it for two to three days, and voila, you have Rejuvalac. Drain the liquid and it's ready to consume. So why go through all this effort? Well, the benefits of Rejuvalac are manifold. This tonic aids digestion, improves gut health and boosts your immune system. Its high vitamin B, E and K content also contribute to overall health and well-being. Now you may ask, how does Rejuvalac compare with kombucha? While both are fermented drinks with probiotics, there are some key differences. Kombucha is made from tea and sugar and has a distinctive tangy, sweet taste. On the other hand, Rejuvalac, made from grains, has a mild, lemony flavour. Moreover, while kombucha can contain a small amount of alcohol due to its fermentation process, Rejuvalac remains non-alcoholic. If you're looking for a probiotic drink without the sugar content of kombucha, Rejuvalac is your go-to beverage. In conclusion, Rejuvalac is a versatile, health-boosting elixir that's easy to make at home. Its benefits for gut health and immunity, coupled with its mild taste, make it an excellent addition to your daily routine. So why not give it a try? After all, the journey to health begins with a single step, or in this case, a single sip.